this and you know you know um I sewed pretty much this side where the clip would be and then I just uh t use a string and then I'll be able to fully close this backpack and stuff and here's the rubber tire not yeah the tire okay. so have an extra backpack now that I could actually use and um, yeah, still have some really nice clear space to got this duffel bag right here. I wiped it down and cleaned it up and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna probably have some 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 of my tools, just some random pliers and things just to store away. And this does this this is as tall as like a two liter bottle, so I could fill it up with a few two liter bottles. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, you know, carry some uh, oil oil um, bags and things, projects and stuff to see which what goes good and what you're going to be ready for. So, so one of my main big things next is actually getting back to you know doing the dental. The dental stuff is a big thing because I need to find uh, you know my own sense about you know. Um, my own, you know, personal for for just sorting out again, and then you know, making storage bins and things like that. Um, having the, you know, kind of jumped off of doing a few things like making the the molding putty and things like that. So I got to get back into doing this stuff and cleaning, you know, learning to clean out the you know jars with alcohol. And, um, you know, really don't really need this stuff, like, for dental all the time. But definitely, uh, you know, put a little bit of time earlier in this year onto, you know, finishing up some of these molds. And I'll be able to, like, put a layer of, you know, some type of silicone or resin. And then uh, having a like a mold of the missing tooth and things and then I've got to figure out how I'm going to uh, you know basically make clips or even well it just depends but you know if they're gonna be permanent or temporary most people would just would be satisfied with permanent and that that's not that hard you know uh, I've got the drill and you know uh, they also have like um, some type of like a paint or it's not a paint. Well, you know, it's, di it's dental. It's just really good stuff where they'll, they would actually uh, gl put in some glue, uh, you know, that, that matches the tooth and things like that. And then, you know, and then uh, what you would actually need is like a UV light to harden the glue up a little bit more and things like that. So that might be... Uh, for some some things, but uh, you know, um, things happen, and I just want to be prepared just in case. And I, uh, you know, just trying to make the right size, I guess, for now. This is just the beginning. Um, it was kind of easy, uh, just having the the veneers and and some some information, but it's just just uh, you know, I, I just got to get onto this this dental kit and you know pretty much have a few things uh you know pretty much able to do my own uh, as quality as I would do someone else but um I gotta find a way for myself if I had to I don't know um but it you know uh if the situation happens you know I, I things happen whereas uh you know, you got to hire somebody else to help, I guess, and, you know, go through like a week orientation of the whole process and then try it out. So, so, so that's pretty uh, much, you know, a lot of, you know, extra stuff that, uh, that I've got to get on. 
YouTube, welcome to Upside DIY. So these are the insoles that I kind of tried the first and I keep the spare pieces just in case I need it for just smaller things. So these are a little too thick and I'm spreading out the silicone for these for one these uh, these soles it's good if it, you know that I have the right insole because I know the, the right size and I'm kind of uh, making and this right here is actually I'm going to probably have to trim off a little bit when this dries and things like that but uh, these are kind of the opposite but I've got another one with this I'm going to be stepping on that middle ridge but it kind of lined up pretty nicely I guess so I'm going to try to use this it's still it's going to need a little bit of trimming when I uh, I, you know this this size is a little too large. I'm gonna have to trim it, but uh, it's going to basically uh, go into another pair of boots and things. And the thing is, um, yeah, it's just not too much obstruction. I'm gonna have to stack these and then cover it and then put some pressure on it to f uh, dry up. And I basically have the other one right here, not glued. And uh, I'm going to layer, like this one's going to go underneath this. And then I might flip the other one to the other side and things. So we'll just wait and see after I finish gluing this. Uh, using up some of the silicone, I might need a little bit more for both of these. But just gluing these insoles for now. And then um, I'll be ready to kind of like weatherproof the boots and stuff. So I try to weatherproof by using just silicone and it's got a layer and things like that um this sh this shoe is pretty generic this boot i mean it's very lightweight though so i'm gonna just use it once in a while but uh i forget what they call these types of boots but uh it's, it's supposed to be wa uh, waterproof and things like that so so I have some paint cans right here with pretty much some rocks or pebbles in it. So I've got a few big rocks with a few uh, like small pebbles to help me um, glue stuff. So yeah, um, then I've got extra material just for smaller things. So I pretty much spread it at one side. And then I'm So this is pretty much the rest of the glue that I had squeezed out, etc. And then I've got to put some more on this this one. So that's going to go on this other uh, larger one, like that, just because there's no glue in between that, so they won't get stuck together. Hopefully uh, I could line it up better and things. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to trim off, and then I'm going to add... A final uh, like amount of glue when I put it into the shoe so I might have two like um, piles so I got some extra silicone so there's pretty much this and that covered up the silicone so I just need to finish putting these together so this is a pretty good project because I had this foam piece and then I just sourced out a good uh, thickness for the and these are going to be pretty good it's still flexible to put into the shoe but like I mentioned it's still going to have to be trimmed a little bit when I size it I might use this other uh, insole as a guide and things so let's see uh, and then I could put these into like a pizza box and then um, start gluing or you know just let it sit overnight to glue so let's try to do that so I've got both uh, all four but two piles uh, ready I guess and I think I'm gonna need a large pizza box so just moving these other things these are pretty stiff it's, it's kind of uh, Kind of move that down there. I might use a silicone wrap to help uh, cushion any problems with the basically cover up any uh, you know surface 
issues. Shouldn't be any, but just in case. And this is gonna hopefully fit. And uh, I'm gonna put pretty much some weight on this. So we'll close the lid and finish. Uh, going to probably need to center it or maybe use two different you know diagonal cans or something like that let's see oh man um hold on so i turned one the other way I'm closing the lid since there's no real sure way that there's adding some pressure i'm going to just use the medium box on top of that so just putting this other box on there and hopefully uh all the most of the weight could pretty much go down onto this and have some glue spots left. All right, so I'm gonna have, have to find a place to put put everything. So, so it's kind of in my bathroom. I'm gonna actually open up this other pizza box just because I want the real weight of this as close to the project as possible and that should be good and you know once a while I'll come in press down I could actually probably use another can so I'll put that towards there and then I'm going to try to find another can so right here is kind of another one so I've got other rocks and stuff so I'm going to be making a few, a few other ones with the handle and paint cans and stuff all right, so there's can number two, and that's done. Before I even leave, I guess I could like paint these and show you guys how to make some decent, you know, so I think I put a little bit of tape on one or two or just one different, but yeah, I kind of explained it, I guess, but put some, I have some tape, use some tape on the hinge so that it's more uh, stronger, which I could probably use on this. So I've got to source out those supplies, uh, maybe spray paint it and stuff. You know, I have a few like calibers to help, uh, like measure would help with the dental stuff. But I got a few rolls of tape in here that I'm going to use to tape up those the hinge area. And here's some more of the random zip locks that I've been. Put. They they come in handy, I guess. But yeah, a lot of this uh, stuff in here is for a lot of like a little small mixing cups and stuff. Thanks for watching my video. I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. I already know this box is pretty much empty, so I'm gonna. It's a really good height to work on stuff, so maybe I could just keep this here and put some, you know, just random stuff in there. Kind of like this stuff. I guess this stuff, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these, uh, you know, these bags that I've been saving up, I guess, just to have them out of the way and situated. I just really don't know about putting this stuff in there just because uh, it's just, I don't, uh, it's just confusing. If, uh, you know, I want to put all the best stuff kind of like in a good arrangement I guess and then more pizza boxes I guess and, and but yeah I just want to put like stuff in a good location where I could kind of get to random well not random but just stuff that you know I don't need right at first but it might be uh, you know something later on 